Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, catchjitsu.com, talking about catchjitsu, the catcher arms through guillotine. I learned this many years ago from Rosemary Polaris, and um, guys have been doing it a lot, and no one's paying attention, even Joe Rogan's not calling it in the UFC. It's not a regular arm in guillotine, it's an arm through guillotine on the other side. We've seen alpha male guys, a lot of alpha male guys win with this in scrambles, and they know to stay with it, and they get it. And um, we've also seen Vitor Belfort's friend, I can't think of his name right now, from Brazil, um, he, his protege, he's gotten two of them in the UFC. So, uh, before I hit it, I'll just show, and then we're going to show 44 ways of getting it. This would be a regular arm in guillotine, which you can't get standing, you got to have guard or something to elongate them out. This is the arm through guillotine, okay? So the arm through guillotine means it's all the way through, and whatever grip I have, whether it's a normal grip or a palm to palm grip, I have his arm trapped against my ribs. And that's all the difference in the world. Actually, right here, if I did one-handed, I could put some pressure on him, but I'm probably not going to tap him. But if I had this through deep, look here, and I had a fight with someone else, I could tap him with one hand. Because I'm tight, and I know how to come up. Okay? So, if we were against the cage, he's driving me in, but I managed to maybe knee that liver, and boom, shuck like a wrestler. I'm gonna get this palm to palm, or I like the three finger G in the bell grip, one of my longtime instructors. I pop this through. This is one of the few guillotines I will go to my back on purpose. So I can put my butt out, trip out a little bit. Now I'm out at an angle. I find his foot. I'm gonna stretch both down and down Beverly Hills, and there's quick tap. Now, uh, to shuck the arm across, you need the palm to palm gable or three finger grip to really bump it across. To get the actual choke, it could be either way. So sometimes you'll see guys just finish this way. But to bump it across, you need this. But sometimes you can just finish that way, so you know. Now, on um, the ground, let's say you're snapping it out. Bam. Now, with other series, I have a series of attacks on this. Uh, the usual entry is the soul's choke. I won't go over it today. I'll come to this side. So, we're here, whatever. I got my chin strap. I'm riding them. I'm heavy on the back of the head. If I feel like I can shoot this through the hole, I'm going to shoot that through the hole and bump it. Here's my setup, shoulder choke, shoulder choke, shoulder choke. He drives into me. Yeah, and I come across here. Okay, I got shin across here. Sorry, oh, that's good. Shin across, knee across, shin shield across, and this across the back. Go to the other side, so you can see my knee popping through the hole. Okay, so knee through here, and I don't want him so like rolling out. So I throw this up, and then the knee shield and this can extend them, and I do a little pulling on the arms. To tap me. And then look, I'm going to jump right back on the neck, and that arm's already through. Boom, slide to the pull. And there I go. Okay, so let me show that again. That's how I learned this from Paul Harris. I shoot this in. Number one is attempt to do a Schultz front headlock choke. Palm the palm grip, bump this arm across, and tripod up. Now I'm going to put my head in the hole. And I'm going to keep weight above his shoulder blades, and I'm going to kind of guillotine with my lat muscles and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and drive in and drive in and drive in until he taps. Okay? Now, some people, uh, the way they're built, maybe don't tap great to this. It's not a choke. Some people can learn it right away, and some people have problems with it. It takes a lot of feel. Uh, very few people have taught it before and at seminars, and it's one that takes feel more than other chokes. So, uh, but anyway, it's the first one to attempt, in my, my opinion, in this series. I go here, I go through, I'm going to bump this arm across, like so, really jack it across, tripod up, put my head in the well, but keep some shoulder weight above his back here, shoulder blade area, here, and pull. Okay. Now, again, the guy's tough, pulling his arm back defending or he flattens out to defend, I might transition to one of the other chokes in the series that are all related because of positioning. Uh, and, and I'm not great at these because I don't have long arms proving and anaconda, I'm not great at it. Next, I, and I'm doing these now from this grip or you can switch to the traditionally a lot of these are done this way. If the guy, again, isn't tapping that shoulder choke, let's always build off of that. That's the first thing to go to from a wrestling perspective. If the guy's defending, or I can't get him, can't get my grip quite right, whatever it is, the next thing I can go to is a catcher arm through guillotine, which is a very special guillotine because the arm's 
trapped on the other side of the body. So it's different from all the other advanced guillotines. It really is. So I'm here, and I'm here, boom, and I'm tripoding up, whatever. See this space? I'm going to fill it with my knee, trap him, and extend it. Okay, I got his arm across. I have two other videos on a catcher arm through guillotine. Ryan Bader did it from half guard, loose, but if you put a lockdown in, it's even better. I have a video on that. Or you can extend out this way. Just one more time. I'm here. Swallow them out. I got my grip. I'm trying this. I can either shoot to the Peruvian. I showed that earlier. Or this is the one guillotine I feel comfortable going on my back in. I can ride, ride, drive in, drive in, drive in, drive in, drive in. He's going to want to wrestle me. Come back in, drive in there. Whoop, whoop, slide your knee in the hole and extend them out. And quick tap. You see this one more and more in high level MMA in the UFC and whatnot. So these positions, these submissions should get chained together and they're not. Yeah.